the last episode left me with a warm, fuzzy feeling, which could only mean it goes all downhill from here. So if you're looking forward to the suffering interspersed with brief moments of beautiful scenery, you're probably in the right place. Shall we get started? Is... Are we going to see a bit more of Silky now that we had that bit of backstory in the previous episode? I would like her to move from... Move past just being a slight cameoed background character. I do wonder what her role is in the story though because she's been around for a while it hasn't really had much of an impact and I really don't want to see Cartophilius I think that's his name all that too many more times, but I have a sneaking suspicion. That it's not the last and uh, there's going to be some other big bad out there. I think I get what they're trying to tell with that title. It's been a fair few years since I had a a house with an actual fireplace. Great song. Together, you almost make a full person or a full bird. I haven't decided yet. You gotta make those pagan gods happy and celebrate Christmas. Or you all, actually, but still. Well, that's just not very nice. Is is Silky gonna be cooking an awful lot then? He couldn't really do anything though, because he was wounded as well. Wow, he looks like he's lost some weight. I think he bought it. Are they going to make a proper reef and careful holly can be sharp? Yeah, I have you do have to be careful with eating fruits and berries that you find out in the wild. If you're not quite sure of what you're doing, at least. Mm. 
Okay. Hide from Rudolph the Centaur and... Her. I'm not quite sure on who that or what that could have been referencing. Unfortunately, I don't have any rolling hills, big open view like that, that I can just see. But if I drive down to my parents, it's somewhat similar. Hey, the little salamander guy's back. Hint, hint. <laughs> uh... Roof, can you give him a bit of privacy? Figuring out where? It's a tough one. Much appreciated. Warm? It's back. Can't be left out. Little suspicious being that was out on the roof. Oh, it was a bird. Is this another messenger bird or a gift box bird? Well, it beats the Royal Mail. Are you going to pretend that he didn't notice her leaving? I mean, you could have at least gone somewhere that wouldn't have been so obvious that a dog just disappeared. Nice. Fish and chips, shepherd's pie, bangers and mash. It's like... Go to, what to, what is English food? Is there anything wrong with that? You got it. Is this the first time that she's actually having to think about getting someone a gift? Since she hasn't really had many people don't get lost. That thing, it seems to be following them. So what looked to be rivals in the beginning seems to be an unlikely friendship.
Been nice to see you walking around London. Ah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Greetings! By the way, that's who I was talking to. <laughs> so even though she's being somewhat trained by a sorcerer. I've not ever really been good at giving gifts at all. So I could use all the help I can get. Short on just asking them directly, what do you want? Oh, brilliant. Yeah, they, he paid the price. Do you really want to risk it? But I guess that's the price you pay for living in a big city. <laughs> what a question. And I don't think people do it for the taste. Any reason why you're pressing this? Oh, one of those upbringings. Unfortunately, there is people in that kind of situation. How do you diffuse that tension? <laughs> Was that a test she has fight quite the bare apartment I kind of like it somewhat minimalist Withdrawal? Luckily I have never had to experience anyone go through withdrawal and I've had to haven't had to witness it. But I know of how it can affect people. Book. Ah, oh, my book has started smoking. 
Brilliant. So that's how he got those scars. <laughs> Not one for following orders. Yeah, you, she can't stay too mad at him after he took that kind of blow. It's not, though, is it? Go get him cleaned up. For just some on the spot first aid, not a bad job. We've seen in the past, people, you might not want to make those kind of promises all too, all too easily, but... It's nice when someone can own up to uh, their mistakes. It's not all too different from she says story in certain ways. Are they going to be pen pals now? bringing up the bird again. Is that the one that came a long while ago and was buried in the plant pot? Or is this a different one? She got an apology this time. Ah, keeping tabs on her again. Of course he would be. You'd be foolish of him if he wasn't keeping an eye. Considering how many people have... Uh... Well, she's caught many people's interest, hasn't she? Well, may maybe, well, you left it a bit late, but yeah, maybe you need to ask him what he's feeling first before just, and then write it in a little notebook for him so he can flip her through. So, oh, it's anger. Nice. I'm sure he'll treasure it. But wasn't the other one also a gift from... Nope, can't remember the name.
<laughs> Maid? That's quite a while ago. It's not bad. I didn't expect uh, teddy bear making to be one of Ellie's hobbies. But since he got one early, she gets the bear. <laughs> that would kind of defeated the point. He was listening in to some degree. Did he say that the bear had a certain trick, or there was a certain trick in making it? Since I had a very good upbringing, I can't complain. I do have very fond memories of Christmas. My dad went fully overboard because he had such a rough upbringing and so it's like he's got to make up for his lack of past with us is that the one that turned her to a fox or just any of the other mystical beings oh kid run And being an adult, Christmas doesn't have that same mystique to it. However, you can't deny getting presents is always nice. And that brings up a, a small question, really, just on my behalf. I know that various countries and cultures have different versions of what they do to celebrate, and some don't even celebrate at all, you know. So, I think you know where this is going, but what do you do? What does your family do? Is there anything out of the ordinary? Some people have, or well, some families have their own traditions, so to speak. So, it'd be nice hearing a bit. I was that kid. They love messing with people, don't they? But then again, I can't make a broad sweeping statement because other people love messing with people, so humans aren't all too much better. Even though I was quite jubilant about the end of the last episode with Silky being so... not so happy. you got to admit that. Receiving of the teddy bear was kind of, kind of sweet. Especially when you remember she probably hasn't had all too many gifts. And since it's only halfway through the year, it's kind of early to be thinking about Christmas, but at the same point, if it wasn't for the beer bug keeping everyone inside, I'm sure the shops would start stacking their Christmas shit already. So, yeah. There'd be no getting away from it one way or the other. And so, now that we've enjoyed two full episodes of almost nothing too bad happening, 
well, let's wish for the best, and if you've enjoyed, please let me know. And you may want to stay up to date and not miss anything in the future. If you haven't thought about it already, subscribing to the channel would be much appreciated. But once again, you may want to get yourself a bit of rest. So I can see you in the next one. If you want to do some metaphorical Christmas shopping, then why not head on over to my Patreon. Not only does it get you in the good books of Santa, but with also myself. Anyway, Flor de Taku, Sal, Ray Wynn, Aegis TR, Denim at 1997, Louis Almanza, Aisha M, Danny Tree, Daniel Jorgensen, ASD, Shiwan, and everyone else. Merry mid-year Christmas, I guess.